Okay, so now we're going to be doing some mixed mole problems. So you'll probably need your mole map to make sure you know how to do this. Now, as with any map, there are usually a few different ways to get there. So you can go across the tops, you can go across bottoms, you can go through always through moles, up to you. Your answer should be the same. All right, so what volume of NH3 at STP is produced if 25 grams of N2 is reacted with an excess of H2? Let me just say again that this whole excess business, um, you're not going to need that uh, for right now. So don't worry about that. Okay, so um, let's come up with a game plan. We're looking for volume. So that is our seek. You know, I've used blue for seek before, so I think I'll just maintain that. And we know 25 grams of N2. So let's think of a game plan here. We have grams and we need to go to volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go from grams to moles. And then I'm gonna go from moles of one thing to moles of another. And then I'm gonna go to volume. So let's figure out how to do that. To go from grams to moles, we're going to divide by GFM. To go from moles of one thing to moles of another, we're going to multiply by the conversion factor. And to go from moles to volume, we're going to multiply by 22.4 liters because it is at SDP. All right, so here we go. 25 grams uh, and two. So I need to divide by the GFM. So nitrogen has a mass of 14. And there are two of them, so 28. So 25 divided by 28, and that's grams per mole, equals 0, 08, whatever. There's a lot going on here. You don't need that many decimal places. Moles of N2. Now, let's figure out a conversion factor. I seek 2, I know 1. So what I seek is up top. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. And I'm going to get 1.7857 whatever moles of NH3. Now I need to go from moles to volume. So I'm going to multiply by 22.4 liters. And I'm going to get 40. Now it asks for three sig figs. <clears throat> My calculator gives me just 40. So I'm going to add this. If you didn't, if you weren't asked for, um, sig figs and you could just, the four zero is fine. All right, here we go, next one. If five grams of potassium chlorate is decomposed, what volume of oxygen is produced at STP? So we are looking for oxygen's volume, that's our seek, so we're gonna say volume is our last one. And we are given mass, so here we go, uh, what we know. This is exactly the same one, so we're going to do grams to moles, which is going to be divided by GFM. And then to go to the other mole, we're going to multiply by conversion factor. And then to go to volume, we're going to multiply by 22.4. Exactly the same procedure as the first one. All right, so 5 grams KClO3. That is messy, I apologize. We need GFM. Potassium is 39, chlorine is 35, oxygen is 16, but there are three of them, so that's 48. So 48 plus 35 plus 39 is 122. So let me clear that up. Oops, all of it. Divide by 122 grams per mole, and I get 0 0.049836, whatever, moles of KClO3. Now I need to go to my conversion factor. So I seek is 3, I know is 2. So I'm going to do a different colors. So multiply by 3, divide it by 2. So I get 0, 0.061475, blah, blah, blah moles of my new substance which is oxygen now i need to go to volume so that's 22.4 so we're going to multiply that by 22.4 and i get 1.3770 whatever i need two sig figs so 1.4 liters of oxygen okay um how many grams of kcl are produced in problem two 
That just means I have a different seek. So if I were to do a different seek, it would be this one. But I could start, I could do the whole, you know, this getting to moles, because moles is like the center. It is the center. Moles is the, the kind of intermediary. So if I could get to moles, I can do anything. So I'll just go back to the 0 0.049836 moles of KCl03, which is a two down there, which I know. And my seek now is a two, so that's not gonna change anything. So, 0 0.49836, but we're just dealing with KCl. Now, we're gonna multiply this time by GFM. So this is 35 and this is 39. So 35 plus 39 is 74. So sit tight here, y'all. Okay, uh, times 74 is 3.03278. Too many sig figs. So we have the same given, which is two sig figs. So I'm going to go with 3.0 grams KCL. By the way, if any of this is confusing, please reach out to me. Or uh, if you're watching and you have a different teacher, ask your teacher. All right. What volume of hydrogen at STP is produced when 2.5 grams of zinc react with an excess of hydrochloric acid? So again, let's just clear that up, get rid of this for now. Um, 2.5 grams, ooh, that's not what I wanted, yikes. All right, technology. 2.5 grams of zinc, so zinc is our known. We seek uh, this. So we have, gee, we have grams to volume again. So look, it's the same procedure as we've had in questions one and two. So I'm not gonna write it out again. So I have 2.5 grams of zinc, and we need to divide by GFM, so zinc is 65. So 2.5 divided by 65 is 0 0.0384615 moles of zinc. Now I need to go to um, other moles. So I seek, and what I know is one coefficient of this is also one, so that's not going to change anything except for units, moles of hydrogen. And now to go to volume, I'm going to multiply by the molar volume, which is 22.4, and I'm going to get 0 0.8615 something. We need two sig figs, so we're going to go with 0 0.86 liters of, it's not oxygen this time, it's hydrogen. And let me clear this up. Let's get rid of that. Make that look like an 8. There we go. That's better. All right, okay, now we're getting some new stuff. Um, how many molecules of water are produced if two grams of sodium sulfate are produced in the above reaction? So two grams of sodium sulfate, sodium sulfate is our known, and we seek water. Let's talk about the game plan this time. So we have grams, so we need to go from grams to moles and again you can go from well actually grams you have to do this way uh, and then we'll go to moles of something else and then we're going to go to particles so from grams to moles you know we divide by gfm multiply by the conversion factor but then to go from moles to particles we're going to multiply by avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd so that's new all right, two grams sodium sulfate. Maybe you can hear it. it's my trash truck. Um, so we got a two garbage can. A garbage truck needs new brakes. So um, GFM, so 23 times two. This is 46. Sulfur is 32. And 16 times four is 64. So add them up. GFM is 142. So let's clean that up. 142. 
So 2 divided by 142 is 0 0.01408 whatever moles of sodium sulfate. Let's multiply by our conversion factor. Seek over no. Looks like it's both a one-to-one -one ratio, so this isn't going to change our numeric value. It's just going to change our units. How do you go from moles to particles? We're going to multiply by Avogadro's number. So times 6.02, which is just the coefficient. So I'm going to get 0 0.08478, whatever, times 10 to the 23rd. I'm not going to keep it like that. I need it in proper sign notation. So I go one, two spots to the right to make it bigger. 0 0.8, uh, how many six figs? Two six figs? Eight, five. So that is multiplying by 100, which is getting bigger. So we need to divide by 100, getting smaller. 8.5 times 10 to the 21st particles. Now, if that sign notation business messed you up, just reach out, let me know. Uh, but you have to have improper sign notation. All right, last one. If 10 grams of aluminum chloride are decomposed, how many molecules of Cl Cl2 are produced? Okay. So this is just one additional extra step to go to the part of the molecules. Um, okay. So we have 10 grams aluminum chloride. So this is our no. What do we seek? Cl2. Okay. So we're going to do, you know, the same procedure as number five with just one additional step at the end. So 10 grams aluminum chloride. So we need GFM. Aluminum is 27. This is 35 times 3. So 105 plus 27 is 132. So now I'll clean it up, give us some room. 132 grams per mole. 10 divided by 132 is 0 0.75 repeating moles of aluminum chloride. Okay, so we seek is three, what we know is two. I'll do my color change times three divided by two. Get one, one, three, six, repeating. That's good enough. Moles of Cl2. And now we need to multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles uh, times 6.02. And so you get 0 0.684 times 10 to the 23rd, which is not, we actually don't need to, we don't need to do that. Remember I said we needed an extra step at the end? We don't, we're, we're just about there. So let's fix our sign notation. That gets bigger by a factor of 10. So this needs to get smaller by a factor of 10. So let me write that again, six point, uh, and we do need a 6.84 as proper sig figs. 10 to the 22nd molecules. I thought they asked for atoms. And so just for kicks, if you have 6.84 times 10 to the 22nd molecules, and they ask you for atoms, when well one molecule, you have two atoms, so you just multiply it by two. But I was wrong. They did not ask for that, so don't worry about that. Okay, now, like I said, I didn't have an answer key. So if I made any mistakes, let me know. Um, 